Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your Triton D8 diagnostic tool. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. This training module covers the controls and basic setup functions. Before operating or maintaining Triton D8, read the safety instructions and user manual carefully, paying extra attention to the safety warnings and precautions. To install the battery pack, loosen the two screws that retain the battery compartment cover. Lift the bottom edge of the cover to remove. Put the notched end of the battery in first and push down until the battery is in place. Replace the battery cover and snug up the screws to hold the cover in place. Do not over tighten. Indicators and connectors are on the top panel. The power indicator illuminates when power is being supplied to the tool. A red light indicates the battery is charging. A green light means the battery is fully charged. An amber light means there's an issue with the battery. The power supply port is used to connect the AC-DC power supply. Use only the correct AC adapter provided with the Triton D8. The mini USB port is used to connect Triton D8 to a personal computer for transferring saved files. The micro SD card port holds the micro SD card that contains the Triton D8 software, and the data cable port is for the scanner vehicle connector. Pressing the Yes button selects a menu or program or confirms a selection. Pressing the No button exits a menu or returns to the previous screen. The four-way keypad controls up, down, and left and right navigation. The shortcut, S button, can be programmed to perform a variety of common tasks. To power up the Triton D8, press the power button. Triton D8 automatically powers up and opens to the home screen whenever it is connected to a vehicle or the AC power adapter. Triton D8 will boot up to the home screen in about five seconds. All operations of Triton D8 can be performed using the touch screen or the keys. Our home screen contains seven icons. Let's do a brief overview of the icons. The scanner icon is your access to VIN code specific diagnostics. The OBD2 eOBD icon provides access to the emissions related information covered under SAE J1979 standard. Guided Component Tests accesses Snap-on's exclusive Fast Track Guided Component Tests, including a variety of resources to test automotive components for a confident diagnosis. This avoids replacing the wrong part and the risk of comebacks. The Scope Multimeter function allows you to perform multiple types of circuit and component measurement tests. The Quick Lookups icon contains oil specs and resets, allowing you quick access to the following OEM information. The Previous Vehicles and Data icon is the shortcut to any vehicle previously connected or saved data. The Tools icon allows access to set up the tool, everything from Wi-Fi setup, Snap-on Cloud, AltusDrive.com, or connect to a PC. From your home screen, follow along to properly set up your diagnostic platform. Press the Tools icon. Press Settings to enter the Settings menu. System Settings allows you to set Display, Date and Time, and Auto VIN. The Display menu allows you to change the screen settings. Brightness allows you to change how bright the screen is. This can be useful when using the tool in bright sunlight. Color theme allows you to change from a day theme to a night theme. High contrast toolbar allows you to change from a color toolbar to a high contrast toolbar. Font type allows you to change from a normal font to a bold font. Backlight time allows you to change how long the screen stays at full brightness before dimming. 
This applies only when the tool is on battery power and can extend the time the tool can be used before needing to be recharged. Touch calibration will walk you through the screen calibration. The date and time menu allows you to change the time zone, time and date format, and more. The auto VIN menu allows you to turn the Instant ID feature on or off. Instant ID is a built-in scanner feature that will save you time when identifying a vehicle by automatically communicating with the vehicle's ECM to complete the vehicle identification process automatically. Configure Wi-Fi functions to turn on and connect to wireless internet. If the screen displays a message, Wi-Fi is off, select the Wi-Fi power icon to turn the Wi-Fi on. The Wi-Fi power icon will change from a checkmark icon to an X icon, indicating Wi-Fi radio is currently set to on. Select your desired network connection. If the network is password protected, a keyboard will appear. Simply enter your network password. If your network does not require a password, select it. Select Connect to connect to your desired network. From the Connect Confirmation screen, select OK to continue using this connection or forget to disconnect this connection. The Configure Scanner menu gives options for showing the graph scales or hiding the graph scales in data graphing mode. The Configure Units menu allows you to change between metric and imperial units. System information displays important information that may be needed from time to time. If you call customer support, they may ask for certain information displayed here, such as the tool serial number, the installed software version number, and other system information, like installed database and hardware codes. Normally, you may never need to use this information, but it is easily accessed here if you need it. Configure Shortcut Key allows you to set up what the S button on the front of the tool does when pressed. Choices for the Shortcut Key function include Screen Brightness, Save Screen, Save Movie, Show Shortcut Menu, and Toggle Record and Pause. Many top shops use capturing screenshots as a great method for showing the owner of the vehicle either an image of a failure or suspected failure that would require additional testing. Altus Setup displays the serial number, PIN, and code that are needed to link your tool to the Snap-on Cloud at altusdrive.com. For more information on the Snap-on Cloud, please see the Snap-on Cloud training module in this series. Connect to PC allows you to connect the tool to your own PC using the supplied USB cable. You can then use the free ShopStream Connect software to view and print any saved files on the tool. The software is available at this website. ShopStream Connect can be used to view and print vehicle system reports, screenshots, and recorded data. It can also be used to update your scan tool over the internet. Speak to your Snap-on representative to learn more about online updates. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series.